What was their justification for denying your religious exemption? It had to be something really good because that's a, a pretty big step for them to make. Uh, their justification was simply uh, health and safety. I think one of the examples was that I wouldn't be able to wear a mask uh, in my airplane, but I fly a single seat fighter, so I don't think that's too necessary. Those that have been grounded because of this vaccine mandate, what are they doing? Are any of them leaving to go to other places if they're able? What are you seeing in terms of those individuals who maybe are finding something else to do? Well, the folks that can leave certainly are uh, in a large number leaving. And even the folks that are vaccinated, at least in the fighter community, are leaving uh, pretty rapidly. We have a pilot shortage crisis. In, in 2017, the chief of staff of the Air Force called a 1,500 pilot shortage a crisis. And that number has grown to 1,900. People are going to the airlines. People are going to uh, other career fields, starting businesses and, and, and joining organizations that they think respect their freedoms a little more. And so I think as a military, if we ever want to solve this crisis, especially in our pilot manning, we're going to have to start taking a much closer look at that. But in terms of the vaccinated individuals, you know, I, I know one friend of mine who recently just uh, just separated over the vaccine mandates, and now he has returned to my base to fly as a contract fighter pilot, civilian, and he's getting paid more money to do essentially the same job he was forced out of the military to do in the first place. Uh, and so it's just it just seems to defy common sense to me that, that we're doing this and then hiring civilians to do the exact same job. And so uh, we really, I think, could be more efficient and, and more serious about this mandate.